Welcome to Sunday School today. So I want to welcome boys and girls back and I hope you're all doing well. I thought we'd sing a couple of songs this morning. Um, we're going to sing This is the Day, if you're happy and you know it, and a couple of verses of This Little Light of Mine. So you help me sing. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Very good. Now, if we're going to sing, if you're happy and you know it, remember you smile. You're going to clap your hands, stomp your feet, say amen as we sing this song. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. How about do all three? If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, say amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, say amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Amen. Very good. So the two verses we're going to do for this little light of mine is uh, I'm going to let it shine, and I'm going to let it shine till Jesus comes. So let's get our lights ready. Think of it as a candle or a flashlight lit up. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, well, that was very good. So today, I have our friend Wally. Well, he's our little friend and he's a lamb. And he wants to give you a clue about someone special in his life. So this special person, he takes care of Wally and he shows him where to find grass to eat and water to drink. Who do you think that is? I heard you say maybe his mother. That's a really good answer. But you know what? We asked about a special person and Wooly's mother would be a sheep and she would be an animal, so that doesn't work. So let's give you another clue. This person uh, makes sure that Wooly has a warm place to sleep at night and keeps him safe. Ah, I heard you say it now. It's a shepherd. That's right. If you got shepherd, that's right. And he takes care of a lamb and other sheep that is under his care and he keeps them healthy and safe. Now, our Bible story today <clears throat> is from 1 Kings in the Old Testament. And we're going to talk about a man named Elijah. Now, Elijah was a prophet of God, and he loved God very much. And he was going all around the countryside to tell people about God and how God loved them. <clears throat> now, he lived in a country where the king was against God. And so Elijah was running from the king and God in heaven decided he would hold back the rain and there was a drought in the land. So there was no water and things were not growing in the land. Well, <clears throat> he told Elijah one day to go to a certain town. And so Elijah got up and he went to a certain town and there he found a widow woman. And that's a woman whose husband had passed away. Now this woman he met outside and he said to her, would you please go get me some water? And when she went to go get the water, he also said, and bring me a little bread. And she turned around and she said, I don't have any bread. I only have a little flour and a little oil left. 
for me and my son. I'm out here collecting sticks so that we can make a fire and have our last meal together. Oh, how sad. Well, Elijah knew that God had sent him to this widow woman for a reason, and she would help him, and he would help her, and God would help them. So, do you know what that what happened? <clears throat> the Bible says that he told her that when she poured her oil, it would not run out. And when she had her, her flour, it would not be used up. And when you put oil and flour together, do you know what? You put it together, you roll it up. Well, you get something <clears throat> like a roll or a piece of bread or a tortilla. And you can cook it. And the Bible says that they had bread as long as there was no rain. And I'm going to show you our picture. So she made bread for <clears throat> her son and herself and Elijah. And they had enough to eat and drink during the time that there was no rain. Boys and girls, I have a couple questions for you <clears throat> about our story. Now, here is a true and a false with a happy face and a sad face. So you listen to my question. Did God tell Elijah to go to a certain town? That would be true, but you can have a smiley face. In our story, the only food the widow had left was bananas. Was that true or is that false? There's nothing in my story about bananas. That's false. That's a frowny face. All right. God took care of Elijah and the widow and her son by providing flour and oil every day. Is that true or is that false? that's true all right and God says he will take care of you too you know that's true boys and girls and we can be happy about that so the only thing I have to share now with you <clears throat> is our verse which is from 1st John 4 8 and it says God is love and there's a heart to indicate love God is love that's three words 1st John 4 8 God is love so boys and girls, that's where I'm leaving you today. I do not have a take home page because I didn't have one left from the years ago that I used to have one. But if <clears throat> you want to, you can go to the Sunday school link. Mom can cut out the copy and cut out the, the sticker and you can paste that on your page. And that page says God gives us food to eat. And that's part of the story that we heard today. So bye bye for now.